Allies journey as far as 3,000 miles south every winter to a warmer climate as they cannot survive in the cold of northern winters. North American monarchs on the east coast overwinter in the Sierra Madre Mountains of Mexico, but those on the west coast call California their home away from home. Right here in Santa Cruz at Natural Bridges State Beach is a grove of eucalyptus trees that serves as a roosting place for the monarch population from around mid-October to mid-February. However, as the years go on, many seasoned monarch visitors have noticed a decline in the monarch population, this year especially. Monarchs use environmental cues to know when it is time to migrate. Day length, temperature, and host plant quality are all factors these butterflies rely on in order to instigate a change in their physical and behavioral qualities. Monarchs are unique for many reasons. For one, an individual butterfly only flies one way. Their great-grandchildren make the trip back. For another, monarchs hatching during different seasons are physically and behaviorally different from each other depending on what they need to do and where they need to go. This year, there have been less monarchs at the Natural Bridges Monarch Grove than usual. I thought that since monarchs count on environmental cues like day length and temperature to know when to migrate, climate change could have impacted their migration patterns. Some of the park rangers at Natural Bridges had different theories as to why the monarch populations have been lower this year. So, over the years we've seen a major decline in the monarch butterfly populations, um, especially the ones that overwinter here. So, in the fall, um, every single year monarchs travel south to overwinter, and many, many years ago we had way more, we had close to like 40,000 at our overwintering site alone here at Natural Bridges um, and this year we had um, about 2,000 so that's a very drastic change. So there's a lot of reasons that um, factor into why we're seeing a decline in the population but a major part of it is habitat fragmentation and destruction and so um, a lot of their habitat along their migration route including like milkweed patches where they have to lay their eggs um, is being damaged and um, made smaller by development, agricultural and urban development. Okay. Um, I think there's a lot of circumstantial evidence that their migration is blocked by smoke from fires. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been fires since August blocking their migration path and this year it appeared that the migration began normally in October and stopped abruptly at the end of October. It should have continued, and this should be the peak right now, but it just stopped. I think there's a lot. Of, there's also a lot of scientific evidence that they are extremely re, uh, resilient, and the main population in Mexico has been exposed to massive die-offs in um, ice storms where. Um, Everyone b believed that the population was decimated and was very apprehensive about the following year and the following year they were back to normal. Monarch butterflies are essential pollinators for many species of wildflowers and also serve as food for certain animals and insects. Watching the monarchs gather in their winter homes has been a tradition in many people's lives for as long as they can remember. Even more than just important to the physical environment, these beautiful creatures act as a reminder of sweet childhood memories for people everywhere. Anyone can directly help monarchs by planting and protecting native milkweed plants in monarch habitats. You can indirectly help monarchs and everyone on this earth by trying to live more sustainably. Here's a song I wrote after talking to an older couple about how they used to come to the Natural Bridges Monarch Grove when they were younger and lay on the ground and there were so many butterflies above them that they felt like they could reach out and touch them. Get over it. It's been a long time since you were here. Wish you could rewind back through the years. Back when you could look up into the treetops and watch them. Thank you.
talk You know life is different Days are warmer When you left here You didn't know things could change Life feels so strange Now the butterflies don't come back It's been on my mind, I feel it everywhere Even the sunshine that she picked As we messed up, now we can't ignore it This is our home From every forest to the sea Time is healing, just give it some, and yeah, change can be tough. It's hard to give up the life we're used to, but you need to know things can change. Things gotta change. And now the butterflies will come back home. Sometimes the days you saw them there fluttering up in the air. I know that you care. And one day things will be okay if people start to make a change. The world will still be here. The world will still be here. Yo, okay. <laughs> got it. No more. <laughs>